Welcome to my channel. Today I have some cleaning and organizing for you and hopefully this will give you some cleaning motivation. I am tackling my master bedroom, my master bathroom, and our linen closets. We have one in our master bedroom and then another one in our hallway. So I'll be tackling that and organizing it. So I hope you guys stick around to the end to see the final product and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new, welcome to my channel and please consider subscribing to my channel. I love doing cleaning videos and organizing. That's probably like my favorite because I enjoy watching them. So it's my favorite doing them for you guys. So if you do like it, please subscribe to my channel. So my bedside table was jam packed with all sorts of things. And this was something I needed to do for a while and I couldn't even close my top drawer. So it was time to organize and declutter what was not e needed in there. So that's what I'm doing now. I already took out some items, but this was my before shot. You're keeping me on. Yeah, I'm strapped in. Here is my after. As you can see, I can finally open my drawer. This is so much better. I don't have just random things. I also had my son's books in here, so those went to his bedroom as well. But this was so much better and much more organized. I can find what I'm looking for. On this day, I was diffusing some lemon essential oils which really helped with energy because I was not feeling it that day, but I had a bunch to do and the, like the organizing the linen closets as you'll see later took quite some time. So definitely needed that energy and it was like a push to get it done that same day. So it was definitely a struggle, but it was one of those things that was on my mind for a long time and I just needed to tackle it. So after cleaning the master bedroom, next was the master bathroom, which is super, super tiny. It's probably the smallest bathroom we've had ever. So getting angles and a camera tripod in here is extremely hard, but of course I did it. Um, I hope you guys understand and you know, it gives you some motivation to clean. Even in a small space, we can all learn to appreciate what we have because we have definitely done that even though we pay a lot more here in Hawaii it's smaller but we definitely appreciate the little things because we've learned a lot here from just living here for half a year now but um, I hope this gives you some motivation too to clean your bathroom
Okay, so I am just really curious. I like when people do voiceovers and then I also like when people do music through their whole cleaning video. I do like hearing what they have to say about what they're cleaning. So I am curious. Let me know down below in the comments if you like to hear me talk through the video or if you just like the energetic motivating music let me know Alright, so now I was tackling the smallest shower ever. <laughs> it's like a single stall shower, super small. But I was using the CLR today because there is some like rust and like yellow on the bottom of the shower. So I wanted to get it really clean and I also used some Dawn soap and bleach to try to get it all off. So you'll see me scrubbing away a lot because I was trying to get the yellow off the tile grout. So really had to be pretty detailed about that so that's why it's more of a deep clean today in the bathroom but I did work so the CLR the bleach and the Dawn soap does work really well on that but I usually don't try to use the bleach or CLR most of the time so this was a special occasion because I was just trying to get the yuckiness out of the bathroom I bet you'll come I did end up vacuuming our master bedroom and then the hallway along with the boys bathroom which is like the second part of our main living area so I did end up vacuuming and mopping and I used some fabuloso and some vinegar for the mop water which I got a tip from Jessie at home here on YouTube she uses the distilled vinegar as well in her mopping video so just FYI it did work really well and I really liked it I might have used a little bit too much but the smell didn't last for very long at all and also the vinegar acts as a disinfectant so that's another reason why I wanted to use it today and I love that it disinfects and it's a natural disinfectant I left marks from the tripod trying to fit it in here so that's why you see me wiping off the walls and the doors because I left black marks from it and a realistic shot of me sweating like crazy this is pretty much every cleaning video that I do I am sweating and the camera is super forgiving because it does not catch all the sweat coming down on me <laughs> and here's our bedroom all clean up and organized I was so happy to finally organize at my bedside table and then our little bathroom all clean up. Now to organize these linen closets. This one that you see right now 
is the linen closet in the master bedroom. And then this closet is the one that is in the hallway where I just mopped. So just letting you know for reference. Okay, and the first thing I am doing is taking everything out of the closets and putting everything on our bed. This is the hallway closet, and like I said, I'm just taking everything out so I can clean it off, and I will be placing it on my bed, and you'll see how much of a mess, like how much stuff we had, but I'm so glad I finally tackled this because it's been something I've been needing to do and like not necessarily declutter because I already did that but it was more organizing and you know to be able to go in there and get what I need all right now I am on to the master linen closet and Jake is helping me I am just handing him the item so he can place it on my bed because the hallway is so small that I couldn't grab it and then take it to the bed without knocking out down the camera. So now I'm just taking everything out. Okay y'all, so now it is everything that is out of the linen closets. So anywhere from bathroom products to all the towels, um, it is on our bed now and I am just tackling to organize it. And I did get rid of a few things, but not that many. And like, and decluttering like boxes that some items were in. So I did declutter in that way just to organize it better but right now I'm just kind of making everything nice so it's nice and uniform once I put it in the closet I see a light in your eyes I follow you so then foolishly you'd be the sweetest goodbye give me a heart trip exclusively So now I am placing back all of our items here in the master linen closet. Celestial bodies. Oh, oh. So here are our king sheets and then these are the towels my husband and I use. So I decided to put our stuff here in the master linen closet. Within the smoke our dreams reveal We're not a part of this world I'd call you Venus cause Now I am organizing the other linen closet that is in the hallway. So I am just have like the queen bed sheets and then our guest towels beach towels the boys towels i have our linen table table covers and let's see what else oh we have our shower curtains because the we only have a full size shower for the boys and guest bedroom and then my cleaning rags and then i have all the bath and body works little refills also that i was organizing and all bath mats I also have in the hallway linen closet and you saw all those antibacterial wipes if you know me I am a big germaphobe even though I'm a nurse I still like to protect when I can and just use the antibacterial wipes when I can to protect my children although we all still get sick but that's okay that's part of life um, but I'm just here organizing all the rugs and now I am just placing all these items back in the hallway linen closet 
these were the few kitchen items that I have that are more bulky that don't fit in the pantry area. That's how I feel. Take one step like this song in my head. It makes sense if you drop in my bed. I see the truth in your smile. I gotta swim to the Isle of You. We don't want to spend this night alone. Messed up, I'm gonna walk you home. You'd feel the gravity. I ended up not liking how these baskets were looking in this shelf right here. So I made it to where I could see the two blue and green one just nicely and I moved the antibacterial wipes and the placemats in this little shelf right here and then my candles. So here is a recap of the before. Not crazy bad but just not organized and I really couldn't find things. It was just kind of tossed around. Um, so much better now. I know where everything is at. Um, and I'll show you here in a little bit all the items that I have organized. So here are all the towels, the beach towels, the boys towels, and then my mixer, antibacterial wipes, and the placemats. And I will be keeping my candles right there where you see that one. And then the bu big bulky items for, from the kitchen. Right here are my cleaning cloths and then the Bath and Body Works items, refills with some soap and the shower curtains. And then at the very top is just some bath mats, the sheets, and the tablecloths. This is the before recap of the Master Linen Closet. And so much better now, just a little bit more organized. I got rid of a few things, not very many, because we used pretty much everything. I just had to organize it much better. Now, let's see if I can keep it this way. <laughs> Okay, down here there's just some random stuff first aid stuff our blood pressure machine and in this shelf I have our essential oils my makeup hair dryer blow dryer and then here are my hair stuff sunscreen items and then kids medicines more of my hair products <laughs> and then I have all of the teeth cleaning items more medicine but for adults and bath and shower items in this little shelf with our hand towels. Here are more band-aids and Neosporin items, nail polish and ace bandage in this little drawer. And then our sheets and towels. That is a wrap y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this clean and organized to give y'all some cleaning motivation in the master bedroom, bathroom, and linen closets. And I hope you got some inspiration for your home as well. And if you like this, please give a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you do like this kind of content. I do lots of cleaning and I have a few, quite a few videos on organizing on my channel as well. And I have created a playlist, so I will link that above and down below. Y'all have a wonderful day. I will see you on the next video.